So about a month ago, we had the trade between the Detroit Lions and the LA Rams that sent Matthew Stafford from the Lions to the Rams and Jared Goff, two first round picks and a 2021 third round pick. So I've already done my Matthew Stafford Rams rebuild. That was actually the first video on the channel. And today we are doing the opposite end of that trade. We're doing a Jared Goff Detroit Lions rebuild. The reason I did air quotes is because we're not going to be really building around Jared Goff. He's just really a bridge QB until we find our next one. So I'm going to try to get the trade exactly perfect, but it might be a little bit till I can obviously get the 2023 first because there's only 2021 and 2022 picks currently that you could trade. Still don't know why Madden doesn't allow you to trade picks more than two years out of the future, kind of like 2K can and well, obviously you can in real life. So before we get into um, that trade, we will kind of talk about the team and we need a lot of help here in Detroit, right? They have a new head coach, David Campbell. We'll see how he does because obviously he's a very... um. Just an interesting guy, right, throughout his press conferences and with the kneecap stuff. So, talking about the team, the O-line isn't as bad as you might think it is, but it's not great. We have Taylor Decker at the left side and Frank Ragno, definitely our best alignment there in the center position. They're both star development, but I don't really even have that much faith for Taylor Decker as he is 27. And then we have, like, Joe Dahl as our right guard. Really need to find a replacement there. Tyrell Crosby. And Jonah Jackson, all not really the greatest options either. Tyrell Crosby is only 25, so maybe he'll work out. TJ Hawkinson, a first round pick in 2019, will most likely be our tight end throughout this video. The receiving core is an intriguing one because we definitely need to upgrade. We have Geronimo Allison, Marvin Jones Jr. Probably won't be here um, past this offseason because he's a free agent. I don't think I'll bring him back. Galladay, I'm either going to try to start right into a long-term extension or tag him. Uh, so he will be back next year. Obviously, DeAndre Swift was taken in the second round last year. And he's pretty much going to be already back through the video. And Stafford obviously is going to get traded in a little bit. Now onto the defensive side of the ball. Still need some help there. So uh, the main pick was the third overall selection in the 2020 draft. Jeffrey Okuda didn't have the best rookie season, but still will be big for us. We have Desmond Trufant also out there. And Justin Coleman, not the worst cornerback core in the world, but obviously not the best. So uh, we have Danny Shelton and Trey Flowers on the right side of our D-line. Not too bad either. Like Shelton isn't great. Obviously, they paid followers a lot of money coming over from the Patriots. He's 28. We'll see how he works out for us. Romeo Okwara and Deshaun Hand like are also pretty solid. How young is Okwara? He is 26 and I believe Hand is 25 out of Bama, correct? Yeah, so we'll, they're an interesting, I guess, combo. We got Jamie Collins there as our left outside linebacker. He is 31. We have Jelani Tavai, 24-year-old middle linebacker. He's a 72 overall. And Sean Dion Hamilton uh, probably won't be our answer right outside linebacker. We have Daron Harmon as our free safety. And we do have Tracy Walker as our strong safety star development, but I Feel like he won't be that for much longer and um that is pretty much kind of the team obviously you have matt prater as our kicker and jack fox is our punter so let's look on who i want to bring back all day uh yeah we don't have a lot of money so uh we will give him about nine mil if he doesn't accept that i will be tagging him anyway so if he doesn't he doesn't and he will accept that okay so marvin jones jr not going to come back Deron Harmon, i wouldn't mind bringing back on a one-year deal i highly doubt he accepts a one-year deal but we will still offer it to him anyway and yeah that is the case i would like to bring back matt prater um sure i'll give him a two-year deal um and he will not accept that everson griffin we can let walk yeah we can let walk everybody here muhammad sanu mike ford Reggie Ragland, former Alabama uh, Crimson Tide there, but I don't think I'm going to bring him back. So, yeah, Miles Kilbrew also there. Sheesh. Okay, so let's advance a week and let's get this trading done. So how do I want to do this? I might have to increase Matthew Stafford's overall. So, like, let's go to the Rams and let's... Because I might have to make him, like, a 99 overall and then trade him to the Rams and then pick up, like, I don't know. So I, I want that first. I want their third this year, obviously, in Goff. Yeah, um, so I'm sure they won't accept that, and they do not. Now, I'm going to make Goff a punter, and I'm going to increase Stafford's overall, because I feel like that is also a, not like the, yeah, it's probably not the most accurate overall for Matthew Stafford. It should be, like, at least five overall points higher than um, Jared Goff. All right, so you have a punter with a, hey, let's see their cap it on the punter, a uh, $25 million cap it. I'm sure you'd want to get that off your books, um, LA. So give me your third round in this draft, and give me your first round next year, and please, let's get this trade done. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I mean, I can make Matthew Stafford a little bit better, but let's see. I mean, like, do you want Chase Daniel? <laughs> I don't think that would probably help it out too much. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I don't know. Like, do I have a left tackle I can give you just a throw in or middle linebacker? I mean, okay. I don't think I'm really going to find much here to really get this trade done unless we have... I mean, I'll throw in these two D tackles. If it doesn't get it done, then I'm just going to change. Okay, it's close. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to change Matt, or Matt Stafford's overall just to make him a little bit higher than an 82. 
All right, I made Matthew Stafford a little bit better. He is now an 84 overall. Will they accept that? No, they will not. Okay. All right, I figured out what I'm going to have to do. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I had to do this. I had to kind of alter Matthew Stafford's contract a little bit so his cap hit wasn't as big. So, yeah, you see Aaron Donald in here. We're getting him in return. He is a punter, but we get the correct first and we get the correct third. We also have to give up a fourth in this trade, but I'm going to change Aaron Donald back to a right end, then trade Aaron Donald for golf and my fourth... <laughs> pound pick back and then i think we're good for now and then i'll eventually have to get the 2023 first on the rams but that's step one i mean maybe i should wait to do this trade until i can get their first round pick but then i could just trade for aaron donald and make him a punter and do this thing again like if it does mess up the cap there's nothing else i could do because there's no trade over right in this game so i'm gonna x for jared goff and i'm going to x for my fourth round pick back in this draft and i'm sure they will accept this trade and what you're not interested in aaron donald wired what what I'm so confused. Yeah, you might not. Okay, let me just advance so we can maybe do this. So that is annoying that we currently have Aaron Donald on our team, but I'll get that fixed. Uh, so we have about 19 mil. I mean, who do we even go after? We do need receiving help, but uh, Corvette. I don't know if any of these guys, like Corey Davis is kind of cool. Have Corey Davis and Kenny Galladay, and then we'll focus on our slot guy down the line. Possibility. I, I could target even a Devonta Smith in this draft. But I'm actually going to offer Joe Tooney a pretty big contract because I think locking him up um, on a three-year deal would be very nice for our team. And I'd kind of rather value a guard here than a receiver. So let's hope that is enough. 102 points. Let's hope he signs with us. And then I don't think we'll really have enough Corvette. to go after Corey Davis. I mean, we could really lowball him. Uh, yeah, like we're lowballing him to the max. I doubt he even accepts that, but we'll see what happens. So we'll advance a week and then we got to input the 2021 draft class and then hopefully the... Uh, uh, oh, we don't even get Joe Chuny. Damn it. Okay. Uh, so I'm hoping that the Rams are willing to now trade for Aaron Donald because why wouldn't you want Aaron Donald? Now they're interested. That's what I'm talking about. So give me your fourth and give me your punter in Jared Goff and we'll get this trade. Like, I don't know. Should I just wait till the start of the year and then get the first round pick um, from 2023 in return? Because uh, I guess technically the cap it is a $6 million difference. And I mean, we're really not doing much of free agency. So I'm actually going to wait to get the first round pick in return because I'm sure they would do something like that. Uh, then I'll, I'll end up trading Aaron Donald to that team. And then we can get our quarterback, Jared Goff. All right. So who could we target in this draft? Like we could look at quarterbacks like Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance. If, if one of them fall, like I'm sure Lance will be there at eight um, or seven, excuse me. We have to at least like list like entice the offer or entertain the offer i don't know why i really said entice that doesn't make any sense but micah parsons is really the player that i think could be your selection here um like i said okay i hate madden scouting and that makes you i i know i know stop <laughs> um receiver is also something like jalen waddle or devonta smith um we can also target at that position uh so yeah i think it really in real life they're gonna either take probably smith waddle Probably Parsons. I don't see them going quarterback. I think they view like just golf as their bridge next year and then looking at maybe Sam Howell or Spencer Rattler in the following year. So, I mean, we could turn our attention. Yeah, we're not like, I'm not getting into a bidding war for Corey Davis. I mean, we really don't have to get into a bidding war for Will Fuller either. And there's probably not, I mean, or Venturini, uh Tardif we could go after, but I, I really just wanted um, Joe Tooney. Uh, Olivier Vernon, uh, not really. We could go outside linebacker. Nothing really too special there. What's the safeties looking like? Deron Harmon. I mean, we could probably just bring him back. Keanu Neal wouldn't be that bad. You know what? I'm going to bring in Keanu Neal. Yeah, it'll be our strong safety. We'll move Tracy Walker to free safety. Um, let's give him four. Let's give him five mil and a $2.75 million signing bonus. And hope he accepts that deal over any of his other ones. And it's looking like he should. But I was kind of a little bit in the head when it came to Joe Tooney. And I still couldn't get him. So do we get Keanu Neal? Please. Uh, nobody wants to play for the Lions. And yeah, we are picking up the fifth year option on Frank Ragnow. I don't know why, like he said, we bar he barely saw the field. Okay, uh, my assistant GM, whatever. Going to also keep scouting some guards like Elijah Vera Tucker. Could be a second round pick. Alec Leatherwood. Um, isn't it Alex Leatherwood? Um, but okay. Um, and isn't he a tackle? But I could be wrong. Uh, I, I don't think I am though. Uh, so we'll keep scouting guards because we could go like interior O-line in the second round. Um, definitely just keep scouting these guys. And then like receiver. I mean, I might just draft like a Rondo more if he falls to the third or Kadarius Tony, which sometimes this draft class does happen because I am on Xbox. So I can't download like Bengals draft class. Uh, so it's not as good as the other ones. Let me just get up to Monta Smith. Yeah, I really didn't need to do that. Could he pay? I mean, he's also somebody we could take at seven, but maybe not. I mean, like also if uh, Sertain usually goes forward to the, uh, the Falcons, but Caleb Farley, uh, or maybe even like a trade down option, like we could entice. I don't, I don't know. That could be, uh, 
Stop saying entice, entertain. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, we could look at Zayvon Collins, Jamari Wusu Karamoa. I don't really know. It's going to be a hard draft. It's really hard to draft sometimes. Uh, maybe, no, I can't even start it in the wild card round when I hop in because you can't even scout during the playoffs. But uh, yeah, let's go here into the NFL draft. I'm guessing that Parsons will be there at seven and I'm guessing the receivers will be as well. So number one is probably going to be Warrens. Number two, Zach Wilson. Um, no, it's Justin Fields. Okay. Number three is Panay Sewell. Number four is Patrick Sertain. Five is Juju Kyle Pitts. Six is going to be Zach Wilson. Okay. So the Eagles go quarterback. So on the board, um, yeah, Jamar Chase is here, but he probably won't be there at seven in real life. And I did get him in the Eagles rebuild. So I'm going to look at Devonta Smith or I'm going to look at Jalen Waddle. Um, most likely I do like the idea of getting Parsons like a lot. Like Parsons is really good. And I think we could honestly use another linebacker. Or like we need a linebacker. So you know what? I'm actually going to go Michael Parsons here. Out of Penn State. Please be a beast. I mean, he's probably the best defensive player in this draft. He just didn't play. He opted out in 2020. And that's why he's really not the consensus. I guess top defensive guy. You could say that's Patrick Sertain. Uh, but yeah, number one in true value. We took him at seven. We just took the best player in this draft class. So my second round pick is probably going to consist of a receiver or a guard. Um, Trey Lance is still on the board, but uh, yeah, he won't fall to the second round in real life. Larry Campbell, I mean, don't know much about you. Uh, any left guards still here? No, they all went. Damn. Damn, that sucks. All right, so I'm actually going to go Darian Kendrick, the slot corner out of Clemson. Don't have a lot scouted here, but he is hidden development. Thank you. God, oh my God, he's 124th in true value. It's like about 41, but that hidden development is huge. With the Kuda out wide, I don't know who the other guy might be, if it's going to be Coleman or Trufant down the line, probably not long-term, but at least we have a Kuda out wide and we have Kendrick in the slot. Going to go Larry Campbell here in the third. Ugh, ugh. Not a good pick at all. It really does suck when you can't really scout these guys or have any combine grades. So we do have another third round pick here. Um, I was going to say, Trey Lance still on the board. So we could go one of these receivers like Therese Marshall, Kadarius Tony. Like, but those guys probably won't be here in the third round. So I could look at Seth Williams out of Auburn. Um, we could go with Sage Surratt out of Wake Forest. But I'm going to take Cade Mays out of Tennessee. Please be good. Please be good. Oh my God. I and This has not been the draft whatsoever. I'm doing so bad. All right, so we got Parsons. Uh, Kendrick is at least in development, but Campbell, uh, like father, like son of a coaching guard. Kid Mays didn't really work out. Sage Surratt I took in the fifth round. Uh, 66 overall, normal development. Demetric Felton, uh, 68 overall in the sixth round. Hidden or uh, normal development, and that was it. So I might have been dumb and didn't get my fourth round pick back. Uh, so I don't really know what's happening there. I'm hoping the Rams didn't cut Jared Goff because that would obviously make this really annoying, but I don't think they would because the cap it would be crazy. So now it's time to trade Aaron Donald to the Rams for uh, Jared Goff and let's see uh, their 2023 first round pick. Please tell me the money will work. I doubt it's gonna, but please tell me it will. Let's go, boom. So we have all the right picks from the draft and the right players, finally. Or maybe I was supposed to get my fourth round pick back in that trade um, with Goff, but nah, it's whatever. Obviously fourth round picks are important, but like when you can't do any scouting, it's very hard to pick somebody that you could use in the fourth round. So uh, Goff, back up to 77, will be our starting quarterback, obviously, for this year. So here's the team. We'll have Tyrell Crosby and Taylor Decker as our tackles. We'll have Cade Mays and Larry Campbell, our new guards interior there, and Frank Ragno as the, uh, as the center. He's got a lot of work cut out for him. We have Hawkins in there. Uh, I want, oh my God, we have Antonio Callaway. Sure, he could be a wide receiver too. Um, yeah, now I kind of regret not going after um, Corey Davis. We'll have Sage around the slot. We'll have Swift and Goff there. Carry on Johnson as the backup running back defensive side. Uh, we are going to want, um, oh, I didn't even get Keanu Neal. Yeah, <laughs> Deron Harmon's gone. So we have Jimmy Collins and Michael Parsons to buy there. Walker and Moore. And then we have Coleman, Flowers, Shelton, Hand up and Okwara. Now, Hmm, how old is Coleman? He is 28. I mean, I'm trying to see. Do I want to trade? I might trade Desmond Trufant so I can play Akuda and then roll with Darian Kendrick in the slot. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I don't know what I can get for him, but let me just check out the special teams. And yep, yeah, we have a new kicker. Is it Michael Wright? Is it the guy that was Matthew Wright? I believe, yep, yeah, that was the Steelers kicker at some point this year. And then we're going to have Kendrick as our slot corner, and then we'll have Surratt as our slot receiver. Let me make another trade. Okay, Desmond Trufant's like our seventh highest rated player. We're gonna have to find a team that can like have his uh, cap pick because it is still really high. So that means we might have to trade Coleman. I mean, the Colts do have a lot of cap space. I mean, they don't particularly need another corner, but it can always help. Actually, they could definitely use a third corner there. So uh, would you give me your third round pick here? Uh, please do this, please do this. And they will not. Okay, let me find Cowboys could use them, but they don't have the money. Dolphins don't have the money. So it's really Colts, I mean, the Giants. I mean, since they're not interested, I feel like they won't give me a third for him. 
Yeah, okay. So I got to find really a team that's interested that has the money and the Jets. There we go. So the Jets, will you give me, since they're like a, wait, did that just say they have Gronk? Oh my God, he's their top player. Okay. So since they're going to be bad this year, um, I will take their third next year. I think that could be good for Trufant and boom, they accept that. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year and at least we'll have more scouting done and we might be the worst team in football. All right, so we ended the season with a 79 record. Oh, we're in like kind of purgatory. I wish we were so much worse than that. <laughs> Seven and nine. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Like where is our draft pick even gonna be at? I feel like it's gonna be four, oh, it's 15. Oh, how am I so, okay, okay. Oh, that's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So we'll take a look at the stats. How were we seven? We almost won the division. How? How? Swift was all right, but I mean, he really doesn't have a lot working with. Galladay was a beast. Surratt did okay in the slot. Callaway did his thing. Hawkinson had seven TDs. Uh, Blocking-wise, Tyrell Crosby gave up 13 sacks. Uh, Defense-wise, Devon had 130 tackles. Okay, in half sacks for Trey Flowers. Interceptions, four for Walker, three for Devon. Did Kendrick get any? No, he did not. Sick. I do want to see if, uh, what's his name? Uh, Micah Parsons got Defensive Rookie of the Year, and he did not. He came fourth. So we're just going to simulate to the offseason here, and we'll see who we need to resign and who wins the Super Bowl. So the Super Bowl was between the... Tennessee Titans and Washington football team and the Washington football team ended up winning the Super Bowl. Shout out to them. So we'll see if anybody on our team retired in the NFC North. No um, Detroit Lions, only Buster Screen, the only NFC North member retiring. So free agents, Romeo Aquara, I mean, he's 27. We should look to bring him back. How do we only have, I mean, I'm guessing the golf contract doesn't help, but yeah. We have like no money and we are such a bad team. Like that is just such like a bad place to be in. Oh, please accept that. Thank you. Jack Fox, I mean, he's a good punter. So I don't want to pay that much money for a punter. I could just offer him a deal in free agency. Okay, he accepts that. Danny Shelton. Oh, and Deshaun Hand. I mean, we can let Johnson walk, Tracy Walker, and Tyro Crosby. Oh my god, okay. So Walker doesn't want too much money. So we could look to bring him back. And he will accept that. That's actually sick. Kevin Johnson, I don't need to bring back. But I would like to bring back Deshaun Hand on a two-year deal. As he's 26 years old. And we do run a 4-3 at the moment. So, um, boom. He signs with us. Now, after this, I'm going to see how much money it would save me if I was able to cut Jared Goff. Um, and then maybe somebody else I should cut as well. So, like, going into free agency, we have four mil to spend. Or is it a little bit more? Four mil to spend. That is horrible. For the state we're at horrible all right so if we look at our savings here we could save oh wow we'd actually benefit heavily by cutting jared goff okay we're gonna cut jared goff uh we're also gonna cut jamie collins as well so let's let's cut jamie collins first um we are gonna save 10 mil but incur a penalty of 2.33 so basically eight mil saved um jesse james will also be getting cut we'll save like four mil by doing that as well um yeah we're gonna be releasing a couple guys um vatai he doesn't even play for us um, not even gonna try to pronounce his first name. We are gonna release him. Ah, uh, but we incur a penalty. I mean, I mean, okay. If we're not really saving any money, there's really no point in cutting him. Um, Coleman, we would save a lot. Um, Chase Daniel, why is he, why is he making this much money as a backup? Because he was good for that one week in Kansas City. So we're gonna cut him, and then we are gonna cut Jared Goff. It's obviously a no-brainer here. Um, and then hopefully draft our next quarterback. So, uh, yeah, we just cut Jared Goff. I mean, we could look to sign him back if we really wanted to, but I guess that really wouldn't make a lot of sense on his end. So we have now 50 million to spend here in free agency. I don't think Baker would want to sign with us. I mean, we could, uh, I'm going to bring in a quarterback in case I'm not able to draft one. So we could bring in Marcus Mariota on a one-year deal. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's all I'll give him. So we'll give him a one-year deal. So let's actually look at other positions in need, like wide receiver. Robbie Anderson is here. Mm, he's 29. That's the only thing I don't really want to commit to. So I'm not going to offer him a deal. We could offer Philip Dorsett or Justin Reynolds, but MVS we could also give a deal to. Honestly, I'll give you a one-year deal. That's that's all I'm going to offer you, my guy. So uh, let's see. Any offensive lineman, another position of need here. Um, Isaiah Wynn. Okay. James Daniels. So the Pats are losing a lot of their offensive linemen. Tuning last year, win this year. Orlando Brown, though, that would actually be a massive pickup. I'm going to go all in on Orlando Brown, give him a five-year deal, and offer him about seven mil a year, and I'm hoping that will blow out the Pats' offer. It might. It might. And then, honestly, let's go after Isaiah Wynn, and then we can end up either moving Decker, um, but I would just like to, honestly, get the tackle situation uh, figured out. So let's offer him that. And we might get him. I mean, if we don't get him, we don't get him. And then just looking at the defensive side of the ball, not getting JJ Watt. Why would he want to come here? D tackle. 
Um, I mean, we could offer Andrew Billings like a one-year deal to be our D-tackle too. I don't plan on drafting one, so I will do that. And then looking at outside linebacker or right end, yeah, I don't think we're going to go after anybody there. Um, Von Miller, why would you want to come to Detroit? Uh, Jerome Baker would be nice, but I don't think I'm going to get a new bidding war with Miami over him. Right outside linebacker. Um, Foisadi, Foisade, Aluokun, Aluokun. Um, don't know much about him, to be honest with you. He is 27 years old. Don't think I'm going to really target him, though. Corner, we don't really need. Safety, we could use, but Devin McCourty is too old for us. Sean Elliott. Probably not going to want to come here. And then Harrison Smith, I mean, would be kind of cool. But uh, we probably do need a free safety. So, like, Demarius Randall, former, what, Packer. Um, he was in, what, the Deshaun Kaiser trade. We'll offer him one-year deal as well. Just to pick up some guys to be, what, respectable. Um, but having two first-round picks will help. So, let's see who we get and who we can scout um, now. So, any free agent sign with us, Brown would be so amazing. We get Randall. We get Billings. We get Brown. That's huge. And we, oh, I thought we got win. Okay. I was going to be so excited that we got win, but we did not. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, let's keep scouting um so i don't think rattler oh so we actually have 11 11 and 13 does rattler fall to 11 maybe sam hell fell to nine in the eagles rebuild so possibly receiver we do need like i would have loved one of these three um and i think we should be able to get at least one of them uh let me just keep scouting maybe offensive lineman um rasheed walker no sean ryan no abraham lucas Okay, he's all right. Right tackle. Because um, we're still going to need a tackle down the line after Taylor Decker's kind of gone. Okay, really wasn't able to get much. We have a lot of guards, or at least some right guard scouted. We also didn't get MBS either. And we get Mariota. There we go. He, if we don't get Rattler, he's going to be our quarterback next year. I mean, maybe I'll go key on Slovis, but uh, well, we'll see. But uh, TJ Hawkinson, we're going to be picking up his fifth year option. And then honestly, we should to look at possibly second round receivers like Chris Olave. Would be very nice as well. Maybe getting in the second round, David Bell. Wouldn't mind him. Trey Knox, honestly, could be pretty cool as well. Even Ronnie Bell now. I'm kidding. Um, we could look at Frank Ladson Jr. Um, and then Joseph Nada. we can go here as well. Uh, so, yeah, we'll keep scouting all these guys. Uh, and then let me just continue scouting this left guard, Matthew Jones. Oh, he had really the ratings, but just not a good, uh, I guess, draft grade. And then finally here, the last time of scouting. Oh, and we got MVS, I think. Nice. So we'll have a wide, I don't even know what position or what number of receiver he will be for us. Let me look at outside linebackers. Please tell me we have something and we don't really have much. Great. Um... Jamal Hines, is he good? Mm, Addison Grums, not much. Um, we also kind of need a middle linebacker. So we do have a lot scouted out. Like, Owen oh, Papel, like, if he fell to 13, I would be so happy, but I doubt he does. I mean, having two first-round picks helps. Um, and then when we just scout, oh, we have a lot of free safety scout out. Beautiful and strong safeties. We could just scout as well here with my final scouting points. Um, and we will, oh, we can't scout Colby Harvell Peel, but we do have a lot going for us. So we have two first. And that is it. And then we have the rest of our picks in this draft. So we'll see what happens in this draft. I'm hoping Rattler falls to me at 11. Probably not going to happen due to just the luck in Madden. Uh, so the Chiefs, what? What? They have number one. Okay. Well, obviously, they're not going to take a quarterback. So they end up taking Kayvon Thibodeau. Jets, they just took Justin Fields last year. Don't think they take a quarterback. Steelers, if they got Mayfield, they won't take a quarterback. Perfect. Falcons, they might. And they take Sam Howell. Okay. So... Cowboy, okay, let me see if the, no, the Eagles took one last year, so they won't. Cowboys have Dak, so they shouldn't. Mm, okay, so Bears here at seven. What can I give them without giving up my second first, which I don't want to do? I would give you my first there, and I'll give you my fourth this year, and one of the Jets thirds we got next year to move up those spots to go to pick seven so I can get Spencer Rattler, and they will, oh, okay, so it's close to uh, accepting do I have to throw in my third this year? I don't want to. I mean, I don't think I have any positions they would want. I don't think they would really want um, Mariota. We could give them Jonah Jackson. Actually, boom, we'll get it done. Um, so a first, the Desmond, it's basically a first Desmond Trufant and Jonah Jackson to move up four spots. Boom, we found our next quarterback. So Mariota won't be the guy. It is going to be Spencer Rattler out of Oklahoma. So he is a hidden development guy, 23rd in true value. We took him at seven. I haven't used him yet in a rebuild. I am very excited. We're picking again in what, five picks? I'm hoping either George Pickens or Garrett Wilson are both there, um, or at least one of them is there. Bills might go receiver though. Mm, no, okay. Packers probably will go receiver. Um, and then Bears and Niners. Don't, don't cuck me here. Don't cuck me, Bears. Okay, Niners, don't do it. You don't need a receiver. Boom. So we are going to get Garrett Wilson, I think. Yeah, we got to we gotta give Spencer Rattler some weapons. We're going to give him Garrett Wilson. He already has Kenny Galladay, and then MVS or Surratt will be in the slot. Boom. Let's go. 77 overall, 6 and 2 value. We took him at 13. Hidden development. You'll love to see it.
I like having two first round picks. It is very fun. So in the second round, Damani Richardson. Oh yeah, we could go him. Um, yeah, I mean, like Zion Nelson, I don't think. Chris Olave kind of complete the receiving core. I mean, I would like that if you felt I mean the third, but I doubt it. So I think since I got my receiver, Damani Richardson, we need safety help, definitely. So let's grab him. Please be good. Hidden development, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 32nd and true value. We took him at 43. So if Olave is there in the third round, which I doubt he will, I would take him. But uh, like I said, I don't think he will be there. Um, I would be very shocked if he was here right now. No. Okay. Uh, so we could go Lewis uh, Sign or Sin. Sine? Uh, Marcel Brooks. Okay. He looks pretty good. Frank Ladson. We could go. I mean, I don't mind getting my next receiver. Did, is David Bell off the board? He's not. Okay, we could go David Bell, put him in the slot, have Garrett Wilson and Galladay out wide. You know what? Let's complete the receiving core here. Let's get David Bell out of Purdue. 72 overall, not a bad overall. 70th in true value. The normal development hurts, but that's fine since he's my wide receiver three, so I don't even really need to go out and sign MVS, but I'm glad I did that and Mariota on one-year deals. All right, so we're going to go Chris Boggle here in the fourth round. Yeah, in the fourth round, he'll be outside with Micah Parsons as, oh my God, and yes, hidden development, 62nd in true value, drafted at 107, so we'll have Boggle out wide and Parsons. Oh yeah, we're getting the linebacking core back, baby. Going to take a flyer on Abraham Lucas here in the fifth. Eh, the overall's not terrible for a fifth round pick, but normal development really doesn't make me think he has any parts on this team. All right, so here's the draft recap. A lot better of a draft this year than last year. So Rattler, Wilson, Damani Richardson, David Bell, Chris Boggle, all going to be kind of major parts of our team. And then Lucas, Dunlap, and Tyndall um, probably won't be much for us that going down the line. All right, so we do have some Coach XP to use. I'll have to use that. But yeah, the O-line is Decker, Campbell, Ragnall, Mays, Brown, and Hawkinson. So probably the best O-line we've had yet. It's still not great, but Brown and Ragnall give me hope. We have Hawkinson out there. He's an 86. Uh, so we are going to have Garrett Wilson out wide with Kenny Galladay. And then we will have David Bell in the slot because why not? And then we have Swift. Oh, he's not the normal development. And Rattler there. And then defensive side of the ball, uh, we're going to have Damani Richardson here. I mean, Randall could be something, but I'm going to have Tracy Walker in front of him. Uh, we have Tavai who's up to start development. Parsons is superstar X Factor. And Boggle, let's go. And then we'll have Coleman, Akuda. Um, damn, wasn't Akuda superstar? So that hurts. Uh, Kendrick will be in the slot. And then we'll have um, Okwara, Billings, Hand, and Flowers. So definitely the best team we have had yet in this video. Specialist, I want David Bell in the slot. Um, is Garrett Wilson a slot guy? Eh, he's probably like really good in the slot, but um, I'm going to put David Bell there and then maybe next year if we really want, we'll put um, uh, Wilson out there. And then I want uh, Darian Kendrick here in the slot also for the cornerback position. So also looking at the schemes here, we got to figure out what's the best fit for Rattler and such. So maybe it's not spread. Uh, we will be going to vertical zone run. And then our defense uh, is mo most likely going to be the skies 3-4. Really, we're going to go from a 4-3 to a 3-4. I think I might do a 46 and kind of keep the 4-3 scheme for now because I don't really have good middle linebackers, so I don't really think that's the best case. Our D tackles are definitely better than our middle linebackers. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of season number three and maybe this team forwards with the playoffs. You never know. We also have two firsts this year from the Rams, so if the Rams are bad, let's see. Are the Rams bad? We'll face them after week one, and if we beat them, it'll be a good sign for the season to come. And we do. Hey, let's go. And would you look at that? We made the playoffs. That's what I'm talking about. We went 10 and 6. Now we're taking on the 9 and 7 Seahawks on the road. I do not see the Rams in the playoffs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is going to be good. We are going to be making the playoffs and have a top 16 pick in the draft because yeah like i said the rams didn't make the playoffs i'm honestly very shocked that we ended up making the playoffs i do want to just see um because we started off yeah three and one and then we got blown up by the bears beat the jets lost to the packers uh had a shootout with the panthers and i'm we finished the season on uh, last four weeks we went three and one that is huge wow shout out to spencer rattler man i did not think we'd be in the playoffs this year or i didn't have a lot of hope but oh my god he was second in passing yards not the greatest ratio, but still pretty good for a rookie quarterback. Swift was all right. Maybe he's not the franchise running back. Um, Galladay, oh my God, Garrett Wilson. Freaking beast. Galladay was a stud. And then Bell and Hawkinson. Yeah, that is our core four for this video. I love it. I love every single bit of it. Um, Decker gave up eight sacks. Not honestly that bad to Vi. He's actually a stud. He's actually a stud. 77 overall start development. Yeah, he's developed throughout this video, which you love to see. Trey Flowers, nine sacks. Parsons, six and a half. So... We also are going to have like 55 plus mil in cap space in the offseason, which is amazing because we can go after 
maybe some D-line help. I'm fine with their linebacking core, honestly. So, yeah, maybe some D-line help. Um, Rattler was not here in the MVP voting, and we came number fourth in Coach of the Year. Um, offensive Player of the Year was Jacoby Brissett. Okay, Rattler, Offensive Rookie of the Year. That's what I'm talking about. Where was Garrett Wilson? He was number six. Damn, kind of low. But can we beat the Seahawks in the 12th, man? Let's see what happens here. And we actually lose 27-24. I actually had no confidence we were going to win that game. Like none at all, which is really sad. Uh, so we ended up losing 27-24. Let's see how Rattler played in his first. Oh my God, he kind of, he outdueled Russell Wilson. I mean, the pick hurts. Damn, we didn't get sacked at all. How did we lose this game? We just have no running game. Maybe we're going to target a running back in the offseason. Probably running back and probably some, maybe... We could, okay, running back, O-line, and D-line, and maybe another safety. Like, there's definitely some holes on this team still that we need to go after. Like, D-line isn't a must. So, the Ravens beat the Saints 35-21 to in the Super Bowl. Yeah, Jacoby Brissett going to the Super Bowl. Crazy, right? So, I already re-signed Frank Ragno. I already re-signed uh, Justin Coleman. So, MBS, we don't need to bring back. Amani Oyuwarie, um, we don't need to bring back. Um, Andrew Billings wasn't too bad. No, I think we can offer him a one-year deal. Um, yeah, he's going to test off for agency, but we could just kind of look to bring it back there. Uh, Jelani Tavaya would like to bring back on... Oh, he's done a normal development, but I'm going to give him a two-year deal. I mean, if we can find an upgrade, we find an upgrade, but I would just like to offer him a deal. Okay, and then everybody else, yeah, can walk. We can also look at a new kicker. So we'll have some cap space to spend. Garrett Wilson, new ability unlocked. Let's freaking go. 86 overall superstar development. Imagine we took Jamar Chase in year one and we had Chase, Galladay, and Wilson. Like, that would have been absurd. So we have oh, only 38 to, uh, million, to spend, million to spend, but Devin White, okay. Aaron Jones, oh, there's some good running backs. Uh, Rodney Hudson, Matthew Ioannidis. Okay, there's some good players here. There's some good players, and I gotta figure out what I wanna do. Stafford's here. All right, Um, what do I even wanna do? Celine Farrell, didn't really work out, I guess, in Oakland. Okay, so Devin White, I think, is too good to pass up on. I think we can offer Devin White a massive deal. I know tavai has been good. He's, I was going to say great, and I was going to say good, and I said good. <laughs> He's been good, but uh, I think Devin White is too good to pass up on. So I'm going to give him 11 mil, 11 and a half mil, and an $8 million signing bonus. Like, we're going to pay him a ton of money. And yeah, we're going to give him six, uh, we'll give him five years, and let's hope he sides with the Detroit Lions. Let's hope so, because he is a stud. He's a game changer. Uh, corners, nothing too good. Safety, Nothing really too good either. Um, and then what was I going to go? I guess like, I mean, I don't really think I'm going to go after I know this. Uh, Billings, we can offer a one-year deal to uh, look to bring him back. And then, yeah, I mean, I really wasn't going to target a, I mean, Rashawn Gary now because Boggle, yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, let me just see the guards here. Kevin Zietler, I mean, would be an upgrade. Koshio Semele. Um... Nothing. Okay, so I think I'm going to go after a running back. I think we're going to go after Aaron Jones. A Land Aaron Jones and Devin White, the two top free agents, I think would be massive. So I'm going to lower it a little bit, give him a three-year deal, but I think that would just be... For oh my God, our offense with Jones, Wilson, Galladay, Bell, and Rattler, that would just be absurd. So if I do get Jones, I'll probably trade Swift. Please tell me we get White, though. I We get Billings. We get White. Let's freaking go. Let's go, because I struck out on a lot of free agents. We landed Orlando Brown. We've landed... Um, Devin White. Okay. Aaron Jones has an offer. I mean, we could go after Kareem Hunt. James Robinson has an offer. I would kind of like Aaron Jones though. I would. So I'm going to give him a five and a half and then four and a half. I mean, we don't have to pay Rattler in this video. So it's not like I really need to save up for, um, to resign my quarterback. So let's give him that. And I mean, we'll see if he chooses the, uh, us over the Jets, um, by next week. And if he doesn't, then I can go after Kareem Hunt or even Devin Singletary if we wanted to change. So, uh, yeah, like this is the DJ Ungalele class. Uh, like I said, we're probably going to just continue scouting guards. Um, yeah, I would like to keep scouting safeties. And we have the 10th pick from the Rams, so that is kind of sick. After making the playoffs, you have the 10th pick. I mean, you absolutely love to see that. So, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of keep scouting these safeties. We have all the strong safeties scouted out. Beautiful. And then let me just kind of look at maybe... Um, I guess just guard help. I mean, we could also look at running backs, but uh, I really don't know who's the top guys here. So we'll just scout them all out. All right, so we landed Billings. We landed White. Do we get Aaron Jones? Oh my God, we actually did. Let's go. We were number two and we ended up getting him. That is sick. All right, so I'm not going to look at a running back in the draft. We're going to pick up the fifth year option on Jeffrey Okuda. So that's going to be pretty much it for me in free agency. The only thing I'm going to do is just uh, sign a, um, a kicker and the Jets are going after uh, Kareem Hunt now. So uh, we'll get Jet Toner, sure, as our kicker next year. Pretty cool name. And then uh, punter, do we need? We do not. So 
Yeah, I'll just keep scouting. Um, we don't need to scout any running backs. I just who are the quarterbacks outside of Ungalele? Ryan Holinsky, CJ Stroud. Yeah, he'll be, I believe, the Ohio State quarterback next year. All right, JT Daniels is here. I mean, I'm not gonna obviously scout him. So, yeah, I guess I'll just keep scouting guards. Maybe just D line. I mean, like, I guess corner as well. Can always look to maybe find another corner, but uh, because I've already scouted. Oh no, no, do I have more strong safeties? No, I have all the strong and free safeties scouted out. I'm fine really with the D-line. I mean, if there's a, a stud D-tackle here, um, we could look to bring in. Yeah, like the, this is a good D-tackle class. Like if one of these guys are better than Andrew Billings, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll draft them or Deshaun Hand. All right, so we got Jet Toner and let's go to the 2023 NFL Draft. All right, so the Giants have the number one pick. They might go DJ Ungalele, go on from Daniel Jones. No, they go Brian Reese. Well, that dude is pretty good at an 84 overall. Paris Johnson going second to the Jets. Still up there. Julian Fleming going to the Falcons. Uh, Co Khalil Ringo, I think that says it's kind of hard to see on the Steelers logo. Sean Ryan, good guard goes. I mean, we could go after a guard, but Ryan Holinsky is the first QB off the board. Miles Murphy. Uh, next up is the Chargers, and here we are with the Rams pick. Having two first-round picks is amazing. I mean, I'm sure Jalen Carter's a stud. Um, Trey Wedding. I mean, like, what's Taylor Decker's overall? Has he regressed yet? Like, do I need? To, I mean, probably not, right? Mm, he's still 79 though. Um, okay, so I think we should go after a guard. Um, a guard and then a free safety is probably the best scenario here in the first round. So free safeties, I mean, Jalen Jones looks pretty good. And you know what? Let's just take him now. He looks really good. Let's take him. He is a 76 overall, 22nd in true value. Maybe we could have got him with our first, but I'm fine with him. Let's land the stud and let's get our uh, safety core sorted out. We took Damani Richardson in the second round last year. We get Jalen Jones this year in the uh, top 10. So let's go here to our next pick. Maybe there's a stud still there at 23. So we'll see. Um, Zachary Evans, yeah, not taking a running back. All right. So uh, Byron Young looks all right. Uh, Jackson Smith, Najee. But, uh, he looks pretty good, but I don't need a receiver. Nathan Pickering, not really going to go him. Uh, MJ Sherman looks really good, but we don't need an outside linebacker. I mean, I would, I, I kind of want to guard. I kind of want to guard. Um, Jalen Rivers looks pretty solid, but could he, uh, or maybe Marcus Dumerville? Oh, Marcus Dumerville. Um, yeah, he looks really good. You know what? I'm just going to get him now. He looks really good. Probably better than Mazer Campbell. Please be hidden development. Yes, yes, yes. 73 overall. Hidden development. I'm fine with it. We're going to go Justin Rogers here in the third round. Mm, the normal development hurts. Going to go Osiris Torrance here in the third. He looks really good. I mean, yes, hidden development. Let's go. So he's probably going to be our guard with the other guard that we took in the first round to move over K uh, Mays and Campbell. Larry Campbell, we got two new guards for our team next year who both will be star or better development. All right, so we pretty much got all our draft needs. We had a Devin White and Aaron Jones in the offseason. The Detroit Lions are back. We got our best running back on the team since Barry Sanders. And yeah, I'm pretty good with this draft recap. The top four are very nice. The ladder picks really weren't all that good, but... Uh, I'm fine with that. We didn't really have a lot of team needs. We already made the playoffs last year and we obviously got better this year. Or I guess I should say this off season. I don't know. Maybe we should go to a three, four, but I don't think we will. We might just stay at a four, three. We'll see what the scheme fit is at. All right. So the O line is going to, yeah, be Dumerville. Terrence is going to be over here, even though he's four overalls lower. Um, and yeah, that is your O line. Probably the best we've seen in this video. And then, yeah, we got Galladay, Wilson, Bell, Jones, and Rowler. Oh, Maybe that's really good. I'm not going to trade Swift. Um, Parsons, White, Boggle, and then we have Jalen Jones. We'll have Damani Richardson there. Coleman is down to normal development. Yeah, we could use another corner. But, we'll yeah, the cornerbacks are probably our weak link here. I mean, now we could go to a 3-4 with Tavai and Devin White. So let me see what the scheme is. At. I'm just going to go the highest percentage. I got to use my scouting points. So 79%. Uh, yeah, we're going to stay at a vertical zone run. And then we are going to go to, I think, you know what? We are going to go to a base 3-4. I'm going to try to divide and Devin White out there and see if it works. Yeah, so our defense is going to look like that. Um, yeah, with Devin White as our middle linebacker. One, uh, going over to specialist, I want um, Darian Kendrick as our slot corner. And I want David Bell as our slot receiver. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And let's hope that this team can maybe win a Super Bowl. All right, so we're almost here to the playoffs. I'm hoping we are a playoff team. And we, oh my God, we got the bye. Let's go. Let's go. We get the bye. We are the one seed in the NFC. We ended up going 11 and 5, and that got me the one seed. Okay. Spencer Rattler had himself a very good season in his sophomore year. 4,200 yards, 31 TDs, 13 interceptions. Rushing wise, Aaron Jones, uh, 1,100 yards, four and a half. 
yards per carry and 14 touchdowns. Swift even got nine touchdowns this year. Receiving wise, Galladay over a thousand yards, Wilson 900, Bell 800, and Hawkinson 700. Yes, yeah, so 1,900, 800, 700, as you'd kind of expect, ranking those guys maybe one through four. Maybe you'd have Wilson as the top guy. Uh, blocking wise, um, Taylor Decker gave up 11 sacks, a little bit more than last year. Damani Richardson led us in tackles. Okay, sacks wise, 10 and a half for Micah Parsons. Uh, eight for Trey Flowers, four for Devin White. Interceptions, five for Jeff Akuda. I thought it was Jeffrey Akuda, but I guess Jeff Akuda. My bad on that. And then I don't even think um, the only thing I'm going to see here is possibly us getting defensive rookie of the year. Um, there's CJ Stroud, offensive um, rookie of the year or player of the year in there. Uh, defensive player of the year, we got nobody. Devin White was seven. Rookie of the year, we got nobody in um, for offense. And then, uh, yeah, Jalen Jones was sixth for defensive rookie of the year. So, who we're going to be taking on the wild card weekend? We're taking on the 9-7 and seven Bears, so it is a true divisional matchup. Like, looking at the team with everybody upgraded, oh, it, it's good. It's a very good team. It is really a very good team. It sucks David Bell never really got up to start development. The defense is the best it's been. The offense is the best it's been. Come on. Let's go to the conference championship. Let's beat these Bears, please, at home in Ford Field. Boom. We went 30-28 to 28 to take on the Dallas Cowboys. So, Mitch Trubisky had himself actually a fantastic game. Rattler threw two touchdowns, zero, uh, zero interceptions. Less than 200 yards, though, because Aaron Jones, that's why we picked him up. That is why we picked him up, to have games like that and just carry this offense. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron Jones. He actually, yeah, I forgot to mention he switched in division. Gave up two sacks. Uh, we had three sacks of our own, and we had no interceptions. And let's upgrade everybody. Garrett Wilson might be a 90 overall going up against the Cowboys. Can we beat them and go to the Super Bowl? Please, please. Oh my God, we won 20 and 24. Yes, but we got to take on the Browns, but we're in the Super Bowl, so I don't care at all. Rattler, 266 and three touchdowns. I right, we're taking on DJ Ungawale. He's replaced Baker Mayfield. That's pretty cool. So Rattler, yeah, we picked off back twice. Percent? Wait, we have percent and he threw a touchdown. What? What? Okay, the game signed him for me. Aaron Jones had himself a good game. We just didn't carry it a lot. Like, Zeke got it. I don't know why they abandoned the run game, man. Just keep running the ball down our throats. Um, On our offensive side, yeah, TJ Hawkinson went off. Bell had a good game. Jones did well. Galladay. Yeah, Garrett Wilson hasn't really done much in the playoffs. Decker and Brown are tackles. Gave up sacks, but I don't care. We are going to the Super Bowl, baby. Jalen Jones, the rookie, getting a pick. All right, so here we go. Let's go into the Super Bowl. We'll watch the game play out. Last time I did this, we did not win. But let's see what can happen. In Minneapolis, 12 and 4 Browns. They're so good in the sim. Can we beat them? Rattler versus Ugalele. This could be fun. All right, so let's jump forward to the end of the game. Let's see what happens. The I think we stuffed the Browns to start off, so it's a pretty defensive game, but we get the first touchdown, yes. Give me the second touchdown. Okay, they come back and tie it up, but we score. They score again. Okay, we're up 21-14. A lot is going on right now. Actually, I can kind of lower this a little bit. Let's do normal. Let's do normal. All right, so um, we are currently up 24-14. to Normal might be really slow, actually. Normal is really slow. So I can actually just jump to the next play. Okay, so we're up by 10 now. So if we score here, it could be over. And we don't score. Damn. Okay. So we hit a punt. The Browns are going to have to... They're driving. They're driving. It's really hard to kind of focus on what's going on. Yep, they're still driving. They get a big conversion there. Um... Yeah, they're still driving. Fourth and four on the 10. They kick the field goal. So we're still up by a touchdown. A touchdown here ends it. Oh, that's a huge penalty. That's a huge penalty and a huge play Rattler to David Bell. Come on. Let's go. Let's get the touchdown, please. Okay, third and goal on the eight. Come on, come on, come on. Damn, we kicked the field goal. That's a shame. That's a shame. But we're still up by two possessions. So if we get a stop here, we're chilling. A touch. Okay, they're driving down. They uh, fourth and five and we get forced a field goal. So still up by a touchdown. Come on. A touchdown here ends it. Come on, Rattler. Lead us to the promised land. Hawkinson is beasting and feasting on this drive. And I think it's over. I think it's over. Let's get this TD. Boom. Dondre Swift. Let's go. We're Super Bowl champions. Let's go. The Detroit Lions are Super Bowl champions. Spencer Rattler weeds us the way. He has himself a game. But um, DJ Ngoweli also played phenomenal. But I don't care. We won it all. Let's go. Okay. Uh, Aaron Jones, 17 for 85. Swift at two TDs. Uh, receiving wise, Hawkinson went off. Garrett Wilson had himself a good game. Uh, Swift got in, had three touchdowns this game. Is he Super Bowl MVP? Uh, we ended up getting three, what, four sacks? No, five sacks. Okay, uh, that is pretty sweet. And boom, Super Bowl champion. So yeah, that is going to be for me. 
thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this Lions rebuild. It was actually really fun to do, building around Spencer Rattler, Garrett Wilson, Micah Parsons, etc. So yeah, yeah, drop a like if you guys do enjoy the Madden rebuilds. Let me know in the comments who we should do next. Do you want to see maybe some draft rebuilds I can do with Trevor Warren Shags, or should I wait until after the draft? Let me know. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I love y'all. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.